Hey guys and welcome to the fish room. I am Rachel O'Leary. It's a Thursday and I am working on water changes. Uh, so I thought I'd just take you guys around the fish room a bit. I just fed everybody and uh, show you how the new import's doing. So let's get started. So we'll start over here. I still have to do a water change on the big boys. Um, they're also really hungry. It's been a few days since they've been fed. I'm in the process of water changing the 150. What I do here is set it to drain and fill at the same time so it stays at about that level because if not, the tank level drops down and unless I turn off the filter, it sprays the entire fish room with water from the, the spray bar and the high power. So I do it like this. Uh, I have the valve set to about halfway open. It drains to my sink and refills at the same time. Now, every time I say that, you guys say, but what about water conditioner? I have a well. My water is awesome. I don't have to treat it in any way. If I had city water, I would have to dose the tank for the volume first. The cherry shrimp. They're doing really well. We have all the male gourami. Which are doing super awesome. Eating like pigs. We have those little eye spot gourami. Which are doing really well. They're still a little thin. They'll get at least another week of quarantine before I sell them. But they look pretty good. We have the Crystal Reds, which are doing fine. And here we have some Danianella, as well as some of the bee shrimp. And here we have Tangerine Tiger Shrimp. And here are those Sumantran Ornate Catfish, Hyalobagris Flavus. CPDs, which are doing awesome. Here are some leftover odds and ends. SB's Kubatai and a few peacock gudgeons. Then here are Danio Chopri, the glow light Danio. They're the only fish that came in poorly for me. I lost a lot of them, but the ones that I was able to pull through are doing just fine now. Silver coolies. And this tank still needs a water change as you can tell by all the debris. Up here we have some of the Soelia. It's quite a lot of them. I always think they're fascinating because you can see their heartbeats. really cool fish. In here, in here are a bajillion diamanos and a couple of soelia. Chili rasbora. Which are looking fantastic. The female garamis, you can see their colors really improved. They're a bit more attractive now. They're eating me out of house and home. They'll be ready for next week, I think. The SB Rasboras have really colored up. They're looking great. The tank of heebie them. They're all doing awesome. So the Echisis cats. They don't have a light, so it's really hard to see them. They're doing good. Shell dwellers. Now one of the things I was really excited to show you guys was in my video about about Otosynclus and Hebrosis, I talked about how they're schooling and well right now they're eating so they're all at the bottom but they are exceptionally social and everywhere you look in this tank they're just in these massive groupings. A 
everybody's looking really 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 good in this tank um if you remember when i first got them in i kept that water line lowered so that they would be able to reach the surface easily to breathe the little quarries uh, now it's almost the whole way up by the end of the weekend it'll be the whole way up and they have no problem at all now they have the energy from being fed really aggressively to make it the whole way to the surface and you can see that they're all really fat you can see that the odos have nice round bellies and everybody's looking really good it's a maelstrom of fish in there though and this tank is like this all day long it's so rewarding to see so many of them together up here we have another tank of Danny and Ella. Looking great. We have the Samfangzai, which I moved up to this tank. They weren't eating very well in that bottom tank. I think that area just had too much activity. So I moved them up to this little crypt farm where I'm hoping I'm going to start seeing a bunch of babies. We have the Super Reds, which look fantastic. They're absolutely gorgeous bristle nose. Down here, we have a bajillion D Pandagara. look fantastic as well the planted crib tank and here are those red tail giant danios and all the little Borneo suckers which are doing fantastic here we have the orange really shrimp then we have my blue shrimp, and then we have the yellow shrimp. We have the Laatakara tank, Captain Cranky Pants who may be pouting because he just had a water change. We have the Brevibora Dorsia Salata, aka the best schooling fish in the world. Emerald Eye Resbora. Give my little tank a wild betta. Pyralina Australis and one of my Episto pairs. Some random Episto's and green neons. The Licorice Garami are killing it. They look awesome. I mean, really, really, really good. We have chain loaches and rummy nose, Soelia linealata, quite a few of those. And up here we have the betta cochina, which are still looking a bit thin, similar to the chocolate garami, so they're going to get an extended quarantine as well. The Sundadanio, which look amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. So all in all, despite getting in that many fish, I only had one species that gave me any problem. And I really credit a lot of that to experience with managing huge quantities of shrimp. You know, if I would have taken the time to try and acclimate these guys instead of just getting them out of their water and into the aquariums, I imagine I would have lost quite a few. And the same thing goes with my shrimp order. The bucket smelled rankly of ammonia and I just had to get them out and into the water. And despite them being diseased with the scutellaria, I've lost almost none. So I have high hopes that I'll be able to pull them all through without issue. It's just going to take some time. And I really think the most important lesson in this hobby is to be patient and really take your time and don't be lazy. Put the effort into maintaining these creatures that rely on us for every aspect of their life. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stop by my Instagram, my Facebook, and my website so that you can see my upcoming speaking engagements and my current stock list.
Uh, as always, let me know below if you guys have any comments, suggestions, or questions.